everybody past the Hollywood is. Good to see you. This is the day the Lord has made. We gonna rejoice and be glad in. I like to start a day out like that. You know, you acknowledge God in all your ways. He gonna direct your path. This is the way it is. Hey man, we got some exciting things taking place in our nation. We got the Republican National Convention taking place right now, even as I speak. And then next week we got the Democratic National Convention getting ready to take place. And people ask me all the time, Pastor Hollywood, are you pro-life? Are you pro-choice? Are you liberal? Are you conservative? Are you left wing? Are you right wing? I'm telling you what, I'm just going to fly away, man. Get all this wing stuff. I'm telling you what, I'm like what like the Bible says. The Bible says God said in his word that he is pro-choice and he's pro-life. You know, so I guess I'm like that. You say, oh, Lord, Pastor Hollywood, you pro-choice? I mean, that's kind of, ain't that kind of the wrong way to be on as a Christian? No, it's not. Because it says in Deuteronomy 30, 19, I put before you blessing and cursing, life and death. Therefore, choose life so that you and your seed may live. Now, God is like that. He'll give you a choice. He'll let you make your own decisions. You're going to reap what you sow, but he gives you the answer. He says, choose life so that you and your seed can live. And it's that simple. You know, be pro-choice, but choose the right answer. It's kind of like multiple choice in school, you know. I used to hate it, man, when they give us multiple choice. Like, Lord, how much it? Which one could it be, you know? And But I'm telling you what, God always gives you the answer. Man, it's nothing hard. It's nothing difficult about him. Make Christ Lord of your life, and he will bless you. And it doesn't matter what everybody else is doing. It doesn't matter if people doing the wrong thing. Man, do the right thing yourself. I like what Pastor Timothy always tells me. He says, do the, if you've done everything wrong up to this point, do the next thing right. And when you do that, man, God will bless your life. You could be a sinner. You could be out there lost in left field, but God's got you on his heart. Man, he loves you. He cares for you. And I'm telling you what, he wants to take you and change you and make you an influence in this world. He said to occupy till I return. And that means to take up residence. That means to get off the couch and do something. And that means to work. The Bible says if you don't work, you don't eat. And I tell you what, that's something we need to bring back. I'm telling too many people in America lazy, man. We want handouts. What's up with that? Give me a hand up. Help me out. Give me a job. Give me something to do, man. And I'll get out there and do it. And man, work for yourself and live the American dream, man. I'm telling you what, you don't need no handout. You just need a hand up. You need somebody to give you an opportunity. And I'm telling you what, if you got Christ in your heart, man, he'll put it inside of you and you can start picking up on the side of the road. Next thing you know, you'll be a big recycling center. <laughs> I'm telling you what, be faithful over a few things and he'll make you rule over many things. It's that simple. Do the right thing and God will bless your life. We are living in the most blessed country in the world, America, where even our poor people are fat and overweight. Man, I'm telling you what, you ever walked in Walmart? Man, you look at, they call them Walmartians. Man, I'm telling you what, it's some scary people and you'll see people in there like me walking around and that's scary. <laughs> hey, anyway, Pastor Hollywood says, get up and do something. Choose life. Choose the right thing. You have a choice. Just choose the right answer. God gave it to you. God bless you.